Mike, I am constantly horny and I'm feeling a little alone in the world and that's why I want to talk to you because you are a sex addict, correct? Uh, I was and I struggled hard and long against it and I'm in recovery. So you're not horny anymore? Well, occasionally, but I use appropriate venues. Well, my girlfriend, sorry. You call your girlfriend a venue? <laughs> sorry. Hope she doesn't see that. It's over. A venue is like a sporting arena. You know how many guys walk in and out of a sporting arena? You called your girlfriend an arena and a whore, all in one word. Okay. So what is a sex addict? Sex addict is someone who compulsively seeks out meaningless, non-intimate sexual encounters, and they can't control it, and it adversely affects their life. Are you aware that you're having completely meaningless sex, or do you feel like this is love? When you're in the middle of an addiction, um, you don't see the forest through the trees. You're having sex outside. No? It's happened. One word question. Animals. Never. Never owned a You never had a pet? <laughs> I've had pets. I would never consider. Very nice. I like pet. Consider? Whatever you're implying. I wasn't implying anything. I was asking <laughs> if you ever had a pet. Yes, I've had a pet. That's it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike, you started with, let's call it, regular sex. Mm -hmm. That wasn't good enough. Uh, yeah, I evolved into having threesomes. Congratulations. With women? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Congratulations. How many threesomes have you had? I've had over 20 threesomes. Get out! You guys hearing this? This guy's amazing. You're like one of the greatest people I've ever met in my entire life. The secret is to just have bisexual girlfriends, and all my girlfriends have been bisexual, so... Every single one of your girlfriends has been bisexual? Yes. Give me another one. Give me another pound. That That's great. Well, it's not the uh, awesome... Amazing. What are you decadent. talking about? You're having threesomes <laughs> and you're addicted to sex. That's the greatest thing ever. It is, but only for a while. Right. Then when the compulsion right. and the addiction take hold. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about now because that's what I am experiencing. Who helped you with your addiction? Uh, other addicts, sex addicts, anonymous. Oh, that's got to be a bad gathering. Hey, eh? bunch of sexual people getting together. Oh, let's solve a problem, and before you know, <laughs> right? No, it's actually a very no. therapeutic. Really, it's got to come from inside you, the desire to change. So if sex is going to be meaningless anyway, why not just have sex with a sex doll? And I would never want to feel that desperate or pathetic. I don't think having a sex doll would be pathetic. Yeah, it wouldn't be pathetic. <laughs> Your bucket moved. It's probably my boner. <laughs> wow, it sounds like sex really grabbed you by the balls and jerked you off pretty good. No, not anymore. Once you decide to have intimacy and love in your life and really get a grip on your willpower, it becomes a lot easier. <sighs> willpower. That's all I need. Mike, a pleasure meeting you. You're welcome. Sexy. I'm a sexy little horn dog, and I don't care who knows it. You know, if I could get cloned, I'd bang myself. I wish everyone was horny and having sex. Hey, hey, hope you're taking her home to give her bunny ears. <sighs> you know what the problem is? I don't think I know what it means to give someone bunny ears. Okay, it's, it's when you're having sex with a woman and you push her legs so far back behind her head that her feet stick out like bunny ears. Which would make her look like a donkey. Yeah, see, I don't get it. Okay, why don't you just tell them to fuck like rabbits then? Don't be racist. 
Well, how come every joke has to be so cheap and undignified? Okay, you could meet someone else and say something classy to them, like, uh... I like having a wiener. Go to hell, you giant asshole. She'll come around. Everyone will. I'm gonna turn my whole life over to my insane horniness. I might even make a living at it. Hi, Kedra. I'm John. You have an online sex show. Yes. What kind of things are you asked to do on your online sex show? Strip teases. Yeah. Masturbation. Oh my God. Anal penetration. Come again? Anal penetration. Yeah. Spread my legs. Right. Play with toys. And what kind of university degree would I need to get into this business? I think you're safe for that one. I don't need one. <laughs> this is perfect. I don't even have a high school diploma. <laughs> I need a gym credit. I'm missing a gym credit. What is the craziest thing someone has asked you to do online? Dress up like a fruit basket and masturbate with a banana. Peeled? No. Good God, how does that work? You use a condom. So that the banana doesn't get a disease? Yeah. Right? <laughs> so what's your favorite part about having an online sex show? Getting to know the people I'm performing for. Don't bullshit me. I'm serious. Really? It's yeah. about meeting new people? It is. You could have started a book club. But then I'd have to read a bunch of Reading writing. is terrible. Isn't because... it the worstest? We can agree on a couple of things. Reading sucks, yeah. Kind of, yeah. So you're not dating, I guess? Well, I'm married. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> so you're single? No, I'm married. I have two kids. Wow. And do your kids know what you do? No. When they're a little older, we'll discuss it. How old are they now? Nine and ten. Nine and ten, yeah. Best to wait till twelve. I find. See, I found my dad's porn when I was eight. Was it weird stuff or normal stuff? No, it was normal porn. Pooping, straight on sex. Pooping on people, that kind of stuff. No, it's illegal, so... It's illegal to poop on someone? Mostly the U.S. It's illegal to poop on people in the United States of America. It's embarrassing. I mean, when two people want to get together and love each other and show their love by dropping a hot load on someone else, and the American no. government says, no, that's not part of our Constitution, where are our priorities? Kedra, how much money do you make doing a live sex show? Depends on the day. What's your best day? 5,000. In one day? Yes. You sit around, you masturbate, you get paid for it, you don't even leave the house. Right. You're a genius. <laughs> this works. is the greatest job on earth. It is. <laughs> Kedra, thank you very much. I'm gonna go set up my online sex show. And you stay tuned because you're about to witness the most erotic performance in sexual history. That's good.